The ability to play one phrase at a time, or what I call playing in sentences, is a useful skill for children to have because it teaches them how to stop themselves. A child who has stopped at the end of a sentence is a child who can make all sorts of adjustments. For example, altering the angle of the left hand finger or changing the contact point of the bow ears on the string, to give just two examples. A child who has stopped at the end of a sentence also has an easier time taking in uh, information from a parent or a teacher. For one thing, we haven't interrupted the child's train of thought, which is what happens when we talk while the child is playing, or when we interrupt the child, stop the child mid-sentence. And by the way, the input that we give a child can be positive or negative. Mostly, it should be positive to reinforce what's already working. Later on, the ability to stop at the end of sentences helps the child to be able to repeat uh, just parts of pieces instead of playing the piece from beginning to end, beginning to end, each and every time. You can even say things like, play the first sentence standing here, uh, play the next sentence standing there, on that side of the room. So it's a way to break things up. Also, in the future, the ability to play in sentences helps to isolate the playing into um, even smaller units. Play to the first comma, or play just one word, or play even just one syllable. At that point, talking about the articulation of a single note really begins to make sense to a child. Finally, playing in sentences paves the way for a genuine discussion of musical expression, allowing the child to make use of instructions such as Play the first sentence like a coach yelling. Play the second sentence like a, viol uh, like a librarian whispering. Or even, play the first sentence and make one note in it bright orange. Now play that sentence again and choose a different note to make bright orange. It's like emphasizing different words in a sentence. But all of these benefits depend on the child's ability to play in sentences. So the main purpose of this video is to show you how to go about helping a child learn to play in sentences in the first place. Sometimes it's as easy as this. You know how words come in sentences? Play Go Tell a Roadie and imagine that your violin is talking. And when you get to the end of the first sentence, when you get to the period, put the bow on top of your head. But sometimes, this is what a student will play. At that point, you can say, that was a really long sentence, and sometimes sentences are really long. Um, this time, uh, make, make it two sentences instead of one. And be sure to put your bow on top of your head when you get to the end of the sentence. In fact, with general repetitions of instructions and a little bit of time experimenting, it's often pretty easy for a child to learn how to play in sentences. But what about when a child just doesn't seem to be getting it. When a child plays this, the good news is that it doesn't happen that way very often. But when it does, I want to avoid telling the child that he's wrong or giving the child a verbal explanation. First of all, these two options aren't very much fun or effective. And second of all, children don't like to be corrected and talked to. So I do it this way. I'll play the first sentence, you play the second sentence. Even if a child plays 
that way or this way. All is not lost. Just repeat it several times. Let's do it again. I'll play the first sentence, you play the second sentence. still doesn't seem to be catching on. I can't say that I've ever had that be the case. But if it were the case, I'd be thinking two things. The first one would be that we just got in some excellent practice and we'll try again tomorrow. And then I'd be asking myself two questions. Is the child hearing the reference recording every day? And is review of pieces an essential and integral part of daily practice? If the answer to either or both of those questions is no, well, there's your answer. The last thing I want to tell you is that learning to play in sentences is easiest with simple folk songs such as Go Tell and Rodeo. What's great about Go Talent Rodi is that every sentence starts down low. With some songs, such as O Come Little Children, every sentence starts up bow. So if the child can stop at the end of the sentence, that allows you to say, remember, every sentence starts up bow. Or um, does this sentence start up bow or down bow? Do the sentences in this piece start up bow or down bow? Some songs, however, are confusing. Lightly Row, for example, has some sentences starting up bow, some sentences starting down bow. Uh, hot cross buns, they're similarly confusing. And Twinkle Theme, uh, Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, believe it or not, also has a mixture of some sentences starting down bow and some sentences starting up bow. But as I've said before, uh, helping a child learn to play in sentences is usually a fairly straightforward um, and fairly easy endeavor. But on occasion, it's not. Now that you're equipped for nearly every possible thing that can go wrong, even though it most likely won't, um, you have, uh, I hope you'll be ready to approach learning to play in sentences with gusto and confidence. You play the first sentence, then I'll play the second sentence.